it's enough to decongest uh, prisons. Like I said, prisons are not just meant to be punitive, they're also meant to be reformative. You don't reform people um, under conditions that, like we have seen here. And everybody under the constitution of Nigeria is entitled to the dignity of person, even if you're a prisoner. State. And how old are you? I'm 20 years old. Okay. okay. Um, how did you get here? Uh, one day I was coming back from markets and two men that just rushed me and home here. And I didn't drag with them because I don't know where they are taking me to. So when I found myself in the police station at uh, Aboju police station, so they kept me there five days. Then being on 7th of this month, they now brought me to this place. So, and what did they say you did? But I didn't do anything. They said that it was reading Kaya. I didn't know what is called Kaya because I have not been in Lagos for it. I just came to visit my brother. So that's how they get me. Okay, so did they take you to court? Yes. Okay, and what, what was the sentence in court? They said, they asked me whether duty or not. Did I send duty? Then when they was taking us outside, then I called my mother and tell her where they are taking me to. Then she now, send, she now told me that I should tell anybody around there to send his account number to her so that she, the person can grant me bail. Then there is one policeman that I met in that court, his name is Samuel. He was the security man in that police station. Now send, my, now send his account number to my mother. My mother transferred 10,000 naira to his account. But since then till now, I have not seen him. Even till now, I didn't know that I'm going home today. Even today, I didn't know that I'm going home. They arrested me at also the Bolade where I was selling CD. They take me to to Bolade police station, Alausa. From there they transfer me to to the court. From court they brought me to here. How long have you been here? Since last month. Two weeks. I'm it's a second of last month. Second, so it's more than a month. You've been here for more than a month, yes. and nobody came to bail you. Nobody came. Where do you stay? Do you I stayed in Bariga. Do you have people in Lagos? Yes. Do they know that you are here? I call my brother, he not respond. So how do you feel today? Get, get I feel happy now. Mm. What was the experience like here? The experience here. The experience here is hard though. Oh. It's hard. When we sleep, we sleep with a hard way. We wake up with a hard way. The, the, the place is congested. But uh, the food itself is not okay. I'm Abdul Salam Abdul Malik by name. Can you hear me? Your voice? I'm Abdul Salam Malik by name. Where are you from? I'm from Ibadan. Ibadan? Yeah. So you're a Yoruba man? Yeah. How old are you? I'm 24 years old. How did you get here? I was t raided at Oshodi when I was going to my office at Ojo Elegba. What did they say you did? They just say it was raiding. They didn't, I didn't have any offense. It was raiding. They are just packing anybody at that place. That's how you ended up here? Yeah. So what has been your experience here? What have, what are you? Uh, a lot of things. It was not good for me because in the morning, the food they give us is is not up to something. In the afternoon, we drink gari every, every time. Afternoon, night, gari. So even when we sleep, we don't have enough space to sleep. We're shocking ourselves like 25 and 90 people in a room. We're shocking ourselves together till morning. So those bed box, that place had bed box. Those bed box, a bed box uh, will bite us, destroy our body, do everything like that to us. All the soup they are giving us, no salt, no, every, no anything there. Everything was bad. So we don't, have, we don't have any good time here at all. It was a tough time. So when I when I was out like this, it was a freedom for me. I was very happy, and I don't pray for this thing to happen to me again. <laughs>